start going out towards like yeah go, go river road <laughs> i got this go cruise river road this is my hometown i got this okay so obviously chocolate peanut butter is the best because you get the protein from the peanut butter and you get your vegetables from the chocolate there's no vegetables in chocolate or chocolate isn't a vegetable what are you talking about chocolate grows on trees duh it does. It does grow on trees. Okay, like, well maybe it like does. Like a cocoa plant. But that doesn't mean that it's a vegetable. Sure it does. It's sugars in it. And you don't find chocolate in salads. Well, I mean, some salads. What salad do you find chocolate in? I'm, I don't know. You could. It's a possibility. <laughs> um, maybe I can sell her saw. No. Oh, there you go. There there you go. like one of your friends goes. You're becoming one with the trees. I am. I am one with the trees. Actually, that's grass, so. Well, you're one with nature. How does that make you feel? I'm safe. That's safe, too. I don't know if I can make it to the house. How do you like feel? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was three. Yes. <laughs> I hate you. That's what I think. No. Yeah. Jump. That's what I think. That's pathetic. Because <laughs> I can't skip. arm into it. Yeah, you want to see that whole flick thing? Here. How did, yeah. how did that dick make you feel? What's that? Like that? That was a terrible thing. Give me more. I am sorry. Oh. You chose me. Yeah, you have no one else to take the job. <laughs> Kidding. Wow. <gasps> Kitty! <laughs> oh. Hi! Can you be a model? You want animals, I swear. No? See, even the cat doesn't want me no, to be No, I'm case. sorry. That's how much I was alone for model. <laughs> I'm allowed to ask for permission, or yes, you'd be okay with me going for her. Yes, the bull. What? <laughs> yes, the bull! Oh, okay. 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 I'm excited. Oh, oh bull. I don't want to be rude. Oh, bull, come on. All right, I'm going swimming. I love you. I'll hang up first. All right, I love you too. Bye. About time. Mm. Oh well.
You okay? Do you want to be alone? time away. Yeah, we go out together like this, but it's just so we can get pictures. We don't go do anything just for fun anymore. <laughs> You're the one talking about things taking away. You with your lovely going out and spending time. This is the only time that we do get to get be together. We used to be able to go and go out together and do things like going shopping and going to the mall and, and swimming and all these other things without having to incorporate doing our shoots together with it. Now the only time we get to do things together is to do our shoots because you're out spending time with your girlfriend. Sorry? Look. Are you jealous? Yeah, because I feel like she's taking my place. She's Taking all of our time together. Okay, no one could ever take your place, and you should know that. Okay, thanks for telling me now, after I've already gotten into it. You know, your opinion really matters to me. But I guess now that I don't have your grace, what do I do? You want me to break up with her? No. Then what? What's gonna fix this? We did have fun. Mm-hmm. We met, chased some squirrels. <laughs> met a cat who got to star in the photo shoot. Oh my gosh. I'll have to find those pictures. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, any time of year has its ups and downs. Yeah. So does every relationship, too. Yeah. It was fun. Now you're going to leave. It's just weird not getting into school, you know, the, what I wanted, what I started at the beginning of the summer, and I didn't picture that we'd be here, I would be here at the end of summer after all of this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yes! No, you know! Yeah! You know it, no! Yes! Okay, chocolate and a fruit are fine, but fruit and peanut butter, uh-uh. What? Uh-uh. Where do you... Apples and peanut butter. Okay, certain fruits. Like, cherry does not go with peanut butter. Ew. Try no. It. No. It's so good. No. Are you ready? No. I don't think you have much of a choice anymore. I've just... I'm not ready to leave yet. I, I'm not ready to leave yet and I'm scared because I don't know what I what to expect and I'm gonna be away from you and from everybody and Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. I'm <laughs> not even gone yet. I'm like 
freaking out. You're gonna be okay. You're charismatic and a go-getter. It won't be long before you found your direction. That's kind of half the fun. But what Let's if my in. direction is still here? Well then, your direction takes you back here. Go wherever your heart takes you. For surely you'll never go wrong. Wanna get some ice cream? I thought cookie dough was your favorite. I know some friends throwing a party tonight. You wanna go? That's fine, we can just hang out together. There's the two of us. How am I supposed to help you when I can't? make friends or get a job. I can't do anything.
I can't help but feel responsible. What do you want to do? Get away. Hi, is this Olivia? Yeah. Who's this? It's Newton. Oh. Why are you calling? Your parents called my parents and said you're not doing a lot. What? Your parents called my parents and said you're not doing a lot. I heard you. So they want us to hang out or something? Yeah. They can't force us to, right? I mean, we are both in college. Well, they do have control over our finances. Hi. Olivia, do you want something warm to drink? I'm okay. Yeah. Same here. Have you ever tangoed? What kind of a question is that? It's just a question. No, I have not tangoed. Yeah. It does take two to tango. That's not an invitation. Good. Do you have any friends? Excuse me? I, I didn't mean it like that. I just wondered. It's fine. You could do worse. How? Intentionally meaning it like that? So, uh, do you have any friends? No. Not really. Uh, I, I'm in the same boat, actually. Woot woot! <laughs> that was a boat. Yeah. <laughs> How come you never talked to me in high school? I don't know. You always hung around the popular girls while I just existed in non-existence. You could have shot me a message or something. You probably would have been like, who are you? Or something? You know I wouldn't. How was I supposed to know that? You were popular. I was not. Stop judging me like that. I was a total fake, but that's who I was. I'll try saying that in my shoes. I'm not in your shoes, Newton. Hey, Olivia? Yeah? Wanna grab a bite to eat or something? It's cold outside. Oh. I forgot about that. Is there anything in your fridge? I 
honestly don't know. That's the saddest fridge I've ever seen. And it's not even dirty. <laughs> if you could go anywhere, where'd you go? At this point, anywhere but here. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean it like that. I meant it in a general sense. I get what you mean. Is there anywhere you'd like to go? France seems cool. What drives you to France? I like French art. Mostly because you said draws. Oh, and the French fries. You know that French fries originated in Belgium, right? <clears throat> First person to laugh loses. Isn't that a bit juvenile? Fair point. Ladies first. All right. Um, oh, what did one friend say to the other? What? Why don't we have names? I don't get it. Well, both friends' names aren't revealed. Oh! Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay, I got one. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't the dog stay out late? Because it had a curfew. What? It's a pun. Cur is a loose synonym for dog. A sausage would say that's the worst. A middle schooler would say that's the breast. Those are all terrible. <laughs> Some of the girls I know have been trying to get a group together for coffee. It never seems to work out, though. Oh. Which girls are those? Uh, well... The popular girls? Yeah. Why do you still talk to them? I don't really even talk to them that much. It's more out of obligation at this point. But it is worth it. I have enough dirt on them to fill <laughs> a book. Ooh, do tell. Um... Do you remember Brittany Whitmire, the head cheerleader? Mm -hmm. Well, she was actually a total chess nerd. What? She went to competitions on the weekends and actually won a lot of them. Hmm. Yeah, everybody thought she was a total ditz, though. Oh, and uh, Tiffany Tate, we called her Tater Tots. Tater Tots! Yeah, well, okay, so she ate Tater Tots every day for lunch, mm -hmm. um, and she hated spicy foods. Oh, no. So, oh, no. one day she walks away from her plate and one of my friends puts pepper flakes on her tots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard that she cried afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should have told you all that. Why not? They're never going to know. Yeah, but it wasn't my place to tell. Why do you care? You said it yourself. That's not who you are anymore. They're still people. More complex than just being popular. I wouldn't expect you to understand that. I, I shouldn't have. It was my idea to say what I said. Thank you. 
What do you think of me? What do you mean? When you look at me, what do you see? I, I don't know. It's different. You're different. We've had history together. You never fit neatly into one box. Nobody does, Newton. What I said about those girls was unfair. What if you told me something embarrassing about yourself? Not even the score. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, um... When I first learned how to speak, I called my parents by their first names. <laughs> my mom thought it was especially funny when I was talking to my dad. It's stupid, I know. Okay, it's, it's the middle of the night. And I jump out of bed. I'm in my onesie. I run down the hall and I burst into my parents' rooms. James, James! He bolts awake. And he turns on the light, almost knocking it over. Um, and he says, Olivia, what's wrong? And I say, you forgot to read me my bedtime story. <laughs> I was such a handful for them. Is this who you really are? I mean, our interactions today. Well, Newton, I've always been me. I know. I just mean... Like if I'm know. pretending? I hope not. Today was kind of fun, really. Felt like old times. Yeah, it really did. Do you wish it were old times? Sometimes, yeah. I think this is the closest we're going to get to going back in time, though. What a friend you are. What a friend I was.
I remember when I was just a little tyke and I had been saving to buy this teddy bear for about a month. It was going to be for me. But then my sister started to get pretty sick and I had to make a choice. Do I give away without knowing if they'll like it or not? Or do I just keep it for myself? When I bought it and, and gave it to her, she loved it. I was fearful of such a little fear. Is taking a chance an act of courage? And if it comes down to what's inside of us, instead of our actions, then what's inside of me? Do you have answers? I mean, I know you have answers, but what about my answers? I might be sounding a little bit selfish right now, but I have to be, you know? Because I'm about to be on my own for the first time, and I won't have anyone to rely on like my sister, it'll just be me. I know that we walk by faith, not by sight. I spend most of my days wandering, searching within my heart. Whenever I open my eyes, I see a world that's grown far beyond my years. And as much as I've tried to, I am unable to connect with the history around me. My history, as you've seen, is decaying. But when the world around me decays, it brings new life. The trees, the birds, the fixtures. As I continue to flicker in this decay, Will I eventually see new life?
of tar and stone. To the air, my eyes dart up. In the ground, my heart rests now. Ashes, sensing dust, a mask of powder, remnants, a thought, a few, how few. Turmoil ignites me, burning inner more. Alone. Yes, alone. Wondering what's to come. say there's no way no way I can't screw up this interview I just I can't just breathe slow. What am I going to do? How am I going to pay for this place? How am I going to...
This is Celeste at 10 a.m. Sorry, I know I missed it. I had an emergency come up. Oh, I'm completely fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just had some car problems. Yes, I am definitely available tomorrow. Same time? Great. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. I just wish I had a cape and superpowers like you, Remy. Hey, Spider-Man doesn't have a cape. So maybe there's a chance. You better be ready when I get up there. Seriously, I'm not gonna paint you like one of my imaginary French guys. <laughs> you know what? You're a lucky one, Remington. You can devour as much ice cream as you want without expanding your waistline. I wish I had your stomach. Stomach of flesh instead of enzymes. Wait. The doctor spent a lot of time examining my stomach last week. That rat bastard must have switched our stomachs or something! That's a whole lot of stomach, isn't it? When I lost my little Remington, one of my nurses gave me you, to have something to hold on to. And I haven't been able to let you go. I can't take another loss. I've already been knocked down. But I guess I can try to stand up. That's my only path forward. What? Yes, I'm gonna do it this time. Get off my back, bruh.
You know, I could pass for four months pregnant, thanks to all the ice cream expanding my belly. <laughs> I can picture it now, though. They would ask, Celeste, is this your first? And I'd say, first ice cream? Nah, definitely not. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. Every time I come up here, I think there's got to be more than this. There's a lot to see, but is this as high as I can go? The first time I was on this hike was with my parents. They needed a break from me bouncing all around the house all day long. So we ended up here. The problem, the new problem though that they faced was I was old enough to rock a waddle run. So, because of all my antics, I didn't really get them, give them the chance to get that break.
fields swaying, dust kicking, stream drifting on by, the day flickering into night. Sometimes I'd have someone to share it with. Sometimes it would just be me. I remember one night, Jamie came here with me. I was so excited that she decided to tag along with me a lot that summer. That night, she just looked at me. She heard my stories and she was very proud of me and the person I had become. I really didn't need that validation, but it was kind of nice to have it. Hey, what's taking you so long? I've been ready for 30 minutes. I um, procrastinated because I thought you were going to be procrastinating too. Okay. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I think so. You ready to give Remy up? Well, I'm not exactly giving him up. Um, the way I see it is I'm just part of his journey. Where did you say she lived? Oh, just a bit further out. Dear Nia, I'm Celeste. We're friends. I mean Facebook friends, so we're not actually friends. I heard about you and what you've been through, and so I thought of you. I understand what it's like to be waiting for things to begin again as both nothing and everything happens. I don't understand your daily juxtaposition, your feeling of both having and losing. But I thought a friend might help. At least a little bit. Remy, he's been a dear friend to me. He helped me through my own loss, helping me to accept that the pain doesn't just go away and perhaps it may not ever go away. It hasn't stopped hurting for me, but I'm at a point where I don't have to wait anymore. Your sort of friend, Celeste. Do you think she'll like it? Thank you. For what? I've been wanting to know how you're really doing. I've felt helpless through everything. Trying to understand what I can't understand. And now I feel like I have enough of a bridge to you.
Do you want to begin again? Sure. to start this um <sighs> there's a lot going on a lot of changes and it gets really really overwhelming It's just been a lot. It's been a lot. What say you? Oh. Right. Nothing. Okay, let's try this again. It has definitely been a lot. Um, a lot of challenges. And it's been a pretty hard road, but um, it's been good too. Um, learning to adjust to life with kids and not on your own schedule is can be really stressful um, but there are so many good moments too so, and I think honestly what makes it doable is having a partner having someone to share in the ups and downs um, with you and going on this crazy adventure of parenting. Um, and I'm really thankful for that. So I, I think we're going to be okay. busy. 
Mm-hmm. It was exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're we're hanging in there. I did go down to the river and I got a new skipping record <gasps> of three whole skips. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. I mean, it's been a minute. I'm kind of out of practice, but I'm feeling pretty good about that. I haven't been able to make a pass too, but I mean, at least I can get one skip in. Yes, that's improvement from where you started. Very much. Big time. Yep. You know, I haven't really talked to him in a minute. We're not really um, close right now. But from last I heard, he could use someone or something. He's uh, not doing great. Well, I think I have just a thing for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. I wish I could be that person for him right now, but it's just not, not it. Not the right time. You got it. Opal, you know what to do and when to do it. Opal, what is this? It's not funny. Tell, tell your friend this isn't funny. And maybe, maybe at another time it would have been funny, but just right now it's just, it's just like the last thing I need. I'm sure you're busy, but uh, if you can, I'd like to talk more about it later. Yeah, talk to you soon. Bye. Now I'm talking to a bear. Great. Newton, it's Maggie. Um, I'm really sorry I missed your call. I'm still getting used to the time difference here and I just keep sleeping in crazy late. It's super weird. Um, yeah, it's really hot here. No kangaroos yet, but um, I hope to see one soon so I can send you a picture. I miss you. I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I, I miss you, and um, I ho- hope you're having fun. Um, uh, stupid, stupid. Don't.
I got rid of you because you remind me of who got rid of me. It's a shit reason, I know, but it's what I've got. I know I'm not alone. I mean, she's in my life, but I can't help but feel alone. Is there anywhere you'd like to go? Hey Newton, it's Maggie again. Um, sorry we keep missing each other. I I can like call you at a weird time here if it's easier for you there. I, um, I, yeah, I just, I really miss you. I really wish I could hear your voice. It's hard to like, I don't know. I, I feel weird here. I'm kind of thinking about maybe coming home early. Um, I would love to hear what you think about it because yeah, I, I miss you. Okay, bye. I know I've been having a hard time saying everything I want to say, so I'm going to try something else. I don't want you to come back because you're homesick. I'll be here. I love you, and I always will. Hey Newton, I know it's been a minute. Uh, I just wanted to say that I purchased my ticket back to the States. I'll be arriving in Portland tomorrow night, and if you're home, I'd love to see you. I've missed you. Hey, I just, uh, I just got finished running an errand. I'll be home when you get back. It's been... I can't wait to see you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.